Hello, everybody. I'm Trinity Bird. I'm the executive director at the SOC. This is the first in a series of Meet the Playwrights that we're doing this year to celebrate the SOC shorts, which are being planned and performed July 23rd, 25th, and 26th at the Slayton Arboretum in Hillsdale, a nice big outdoor venue where we can socially distance and still enjoy a really fun evening of theater. Today, we're going to talk to a friend of the SOC, Mr. Matthew Weaver, who wrote Timmy's Big Kiss from Plays in Development, also was heavily involved, and we'll talk a little bit about that with the Living Room Monologues earlier this year, and we are producing his short play, Write Your Name Upon My Heart in the Sock Shorts. Here is Matthew Weaver. If I hit the right button. There he is! Hi! Hi, how are you? Good, how are you, Trinity? I am fantastic, the sun's out. It's a little warm here, but it's not raining, and it poured yesterday. So, yeah. we're supposed to hit 90 degrees today, which is warm for us and a little warmer than I am inclined to like. <laughs> Same, but I got to get used to it. We're doing the show outside. So, yeah. <laughs> so, let's talk about in case there's some people who don't know you, tell us okay. maybe where you're from. Tell us, tell us the life story of Matthew Weaver. All right. When I was 13, I no, um, I'm from Spokane, Washington, uh, born and raised, and then uh, have been writing plays for the last about 10 years now. Uh, and then by day, I work for an agriculture newspaper. And then by night, my fun job is writing, writing and making up stories and creating whole universes. That's fantastic. And you try to write something every single day, right? I try to. I try to average a half hour a day and also try to average one submission per day. That's amazing. Um, keeps me out of trouble. Yeah. Gets me into other trouble, but keeps me out of some trouble. Well, you know, got to have a yeah. lot of trouble, especially right yeah. now. You got to have something to keep life inciting. Exactly. Um, so our first, the Sox introduction to you was with Timmy's Big Kiss. Right. So it fun. Plays in development in 20... 18, 17? 18 or 17, one of those. One of, yeah. Time is not a thing anymore. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that was a very special production for me. And that whole group of kids, too, just life affirming. Yeah, it was wow. showing up, was this is what I want to do. And that was the, you were here the first year we brought playwrights to Jonesville. Right. Um, which was a pretty special experience as well, having you. The whole so, thing. And we met each other, Trinity, and we became we best friends. Not <laughs> just over the technology. <laughs> so earlier this year then, when we closed and we weren't sure what we were going to do, you still you posted something on Facebook about, this was in the middle of lockdown for us, or the mm -hmm. beginning of lockdown for us, that you were still writing. And I thought, well, that's interesting. Playwrights are going to keep, even though we can't do plays, Playwrights are still out there writing, right. and that helped inspire the the living room monologues that we did, of Thank which you, you were two of them. Mm -hmm. opened and closed the living room monologues. Do you want to talk about maybe writing? And I said, Trinity, do this, and then let me <laughs> open and close it. And you said, Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Whatever you want, sir. <laughs> do you want to talk about writing? You know, is writing different right now for you? It's harder to focus a little bit. Like I still am, am I think maintaining, but I, but it's, it's all, I'm a writer. So it's always hard to focus. Right. But, so there's just a lot, there's just more stress going on. Sure. Uh, I always feel better when I have written. And I, th I think writers will tell you that it's always better to have written instead of having to still write. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, I'm still doing it, trying to average a half hour a day. And then some, it, it works best when it's like in the mornings. Mm -hmm. I haven't written today yet. And so I'm starting to, starting to sweat it just a little bit, but um, it's only afternoon right now. I know, I know. Um, and it might get till t this evening. Get off my back, Trinity. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'll check you. Um, I'll check you. Yeah, no, but so like a half hour a day. Uh, and then just, so I can go to bed at night and think, okay, you did something for yourself. You did something sure. to advance just a little bit, a little bit of forward, forward momentum. And it seems to be, it seems to be people are responding pretty well to it. Good. I think. Hopefully. It was interesting in the living room monologues that mm -hmm. we did not, when we gave everybody the prompts, we did not say you have to write about what's going on right now. There was nothing else going on right then though, Trinity. And what was interesting though was, the first couple of weeks, 
they all seem to sort of be about lockdown and COVID and all of those things. Right. And then as it went on, it sort of separated a little bit. And then towards the end, when it was starting to talk about things maybe reopening and it sort of went back to being about COVID. So, right. yeah, it's just an interesting, um, interesting thing. So let's talk about the play we're doing in sock shorts this year. Okay. Um, which I think your play, it's a hard play to talk about without giving too much away. Right. But we will. So it's okay. called, we won't give anything away, but we're going to talk. About it. Um, it's called Write Your Name Upon My Heart. Yes, it is. You want to talk about maybe what inspired it and when you wrote it? I have been fortunate enough to have many crushes on many people, over many women over my lifetime. Uh, not all of them have worked out, but... I don't think that makes them any less important. Mm. And I've also been blessed enough with many of those women that we're still friends. We're still, even if something maybe didn't necessarily happen, I think hopefully I've enhanced their life a little bit. And I, I know that they've enhanced my life. Sure. Some of them, we're still very good friends. We can chat. I can say, Hey, being single kind of sucks sometimes yeah. and they're like but yeah tell me tell me about that and we can kind of talk it through like i've had conversations just this week and so just because it it doesn't work the way that necessarily you want it to work doesn't make it any less important i don't think sure That's and so i think there's a little I, I think there's a little bit of that to it mm -hmm. and in some cases you're like okay, that didn't work out for me, but it wasn't nothing. And, right. Right. and I think, and I think that's kind of what I'm trying to get. And you still come out of the, that friendship, that relationship, that whatever it was, flirtation, hopefully you, you both have changed each other for the better. Sure. So the, the play um, that people will see is a man and a woman. Mm-hmm at the end of some sort of relationship, we don't necessarily know what that relationship was. Mm -hmm. um, and I think what's brilliant about what you've written is that it's an intensely personal moment for each of them. I, I don't know how I want to say this. And yet there's hesitation in what it means. Mm -hmm. It's, it's a play where like what happens is immediate, but also sort of takes time. I don't know. I'm, I'm not describing it well, but we've talked a lot in rehearsal about like the thing that happens in the play for the characters, they'll live with it the rest of their lives, but they don't know that necessarily in the moment. Am I saying? Which I, think, I think is a relationship. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's a it's an intimate moment. It, it's funny. I, I have to tell you that we, because we're rehearsing in the arboretum, and there's multiple plays happening, and we're trying to social distance and all those things. Yeah. We're we're sort of spreading out in the arboretum in these different spots, and it's been closed to the public until July first. Mm. So we have been really comfortable moving around. Well, now there's these families roaming around and. And we were doing your play, and we got to a pretty intimate moment in your play, and a bunch of people started roaming around the <laughs> and kind of thought that it was this real thing that was happening. Oh, that's awesome. And you could sort of see them sort of emotionally get invested in, like, what's going on over there? Uh, <laughs> and I think the guy with the script correcting them was the only indication they had. <laughs> it, was, it wasn't real, so... Um, all right, we only have a couple minutes left. Or actually, trying to keep these about ten minutes, so we got about thirty seconds. Um, what are you more, more? <laughs> what are you working on now? What's what's exciting? <laughs> Something, Excuse me. Uh, um, other did. things that are being produced. What's going on? I just finished a full length play. Um, there's a festival that requires a prop as a prompt, and it's a takeout container this year. And I, I submitted and was not accepted to that particular festival. But I like the characters so much that I extended it into a full length. One of the characters is a talking Chinese food takeout container. <laughs> uh, and so um, 
uh, have been sending that and and submitting that to places. And so we'll see. I, I, I hear there's a little theater in Michigan that occasionally takes new work. So uh, uh, you might hopefully, you know, someday see it. We'll, right. We'll just see. We'll be just a sidebar. We'll be posting those submission dates this coming week on our Facebook page. So. Oh, excellent. Don't. Yeah. I was going to say don't. And then I'll just submit. But that'll be <laughs> other people should have a fair chance. And we will do more than one. We'll do more than one. Okay. Right, um, right, right. And the, the question I forgot to ask you is what is the production history of Write Your Name? World premiere. Yay. Yay. Well, it's a beautiful piece. We will not be the only people to do it. Trust me. It's a great, great piece. And we're putting it towards the end of the evening because we think it's got some emotional impact. So we're, we're pretty excited yeah. about it. All right. That's our meeting. Yeah. Right? No. That, I said it's backwards on my screen. Okay. There he is. He's over there. Matthew, thank you. Thank you, Trinity, as always. Stay safe and healthy. Out there. And And um, we'll see all of you at Sock Shorts. Tickets are on sale now at the website. And remember that we will not be able to sell tickets at the door. So you've got to get them in advance by calling the theater or going to the website, thesock.org. All right. Thank you for watching, everybody. Have a wonderful, safe week and weekend. Thank, thank you, Matthew. You.